all we are going to check out how can a driver create his profile and register his vehicle on this beautiful uh, mobile app so what he has to do he has to hit this car over here automatically he is going to get redirected on this beautiful mobile screen hi you may register your vehicle here so i'm going to select a profile pic from the desktop okay so uh, this is the one this is the one which i am selecting for now let's hit this open button okay so after entering all the details over here he can hit this sign up button and thanks can... for registering your vehicle okay now he we can hit this we heartily welcome you in our organization thank you very much now he can hit this screen over here we welcome you to your dashboard please set your current availability status okay so this is the dashboard of this driver which we just registered on this platform now the driver need to set his uh, status whether uh, he is available or he is already booked so he for now i am selecting this option over here thanks for updating your status okay now i'm going to tell you how can a user use this app so first of all he need to register his profile on this platform for doing the same he can hit this uh, men image which is getting reflected right on the first screen and automatically he's going to get redirected you may register your profile here on this registration screen now he need to upload an image okay i'm selecting this d14 right now let's hit this okay after entering all the details over here on this registration page he can hit this sign up button your profile has been successfully created Let's now enter the password for this uh, profile. Now, when Nishant will hit this login button, here is your dashboard. You may use it. Okay, so he's going to come over here, where he'll be able to see uh, his profile getting reflected right on the top. Okay, now if suppose Nishant want to book a car, he can hit this check cars option first. So the driver's pick and his name. his car's number and his phone number are going to get reflected over here on his screen like this there are two buttons which i have defined over here on this users panel so if suppose nishant want to check out the profiles of the other drivers he can just make use of these two buttons over here so when he will hit this next button so he's going to come across the profile of the second driver similarly he can uh, you know make use of this previous button also for going back on the profile of the previous driver so these are some of the drivers which i have already registered on this platform and uh, and this is the one uh, whose profile i just registered on this device over here okay now let's find the status whether he is available or not so i'm going to hit this uh, find status button Kindly wait. We are checking its availability. So as you can see, uh, he Harish Mehta. This car is available. Is available. You may book it. Harish Mehta is available at present. So for booking his cab, we just have to hit this book cab button over here. Thanks for booking the car. Hi. A notification has been sent to the driver. and you know harish is going to receive a notification like this in real time on his panel okay now what he has to do in order to confirm the booking he just have to uh, hit this image over here your cab is on the way it will reach within next 5 to 10 minutes okay so nishant is going to uh, receive a notification the form of speech like the we you just heard okay now let's come on this panel and create one more profile so i'm going to hit this men's image over here you may register your profile here first of all we would like harish to change his status from available to booked thanks for updating your status you will not get any ride till the time you are available now let's create a profile on this third device Let's first quickly select a pic from here. 
so I am going to select uh, let's select this one okay so I'm done with entering all the required information over here now I am going to hit the sign up button your profile has been successfully created let's try enter the password here is your dashboard you may use it okay so the profile is visible to us over here right on the top let's search for the cards so uh, so these are the various drivers which I am able to see over here so I'm searching for Harish Mehta okay Harish is here now uh, now let's check the status of Harish Mehta kindly wait we are checking its availability this car is not available at present so as you can see because Harish has changed his status from available to booked so that is the reason not available is visible to us over here okay now uh, let's change Harish status from booked to available before that uh, let's eliminate this image from this desktop so we just have to hit this image and the image is going to get disappeared like this let's change the status of Harish caps now caps now thanks for updating your status Harish has successfully updated his caps status now let's check what are we going to get over here on this panel kindly wait we are checking its availability this car is available okay so you may book it so as you can see now this available image is uh, getting reflected over here let's see whether we'll be able to book Harish cab uh, through this panel or not hi thanks for booking you received the car a, booking. a notification have been sent to the driver so as you can see uh, this Harish Mehta has received a notification over here now let's hit this image and send the confirmation notification to Mr. Gaurav. Your cab is on the way. It will reach within next 5 to 10 minutes. Okay, so this is how this app works. So this is the whole code which I've defined in this workspace uh, of AppLab on code.org. So this is the first screen the user is going to come across when he will first access the app on his respective device now if the user will hit this image over here he's going to get redirected on this beautiful screen 3 let me show you how is how that screen 3 looks like so he's going to get redirected on this registration page where he can enter all the required information and after that he is going to get redirected on this screen 4 once he's done with entering that one once he's done with hitting the sign up button okay and after that he can write down his password over here for logging in into the system and finally his profile is going to get reflected over here on this screen too okay similarly uh, if the person who is accessing this app is a driver so he can hit this cars image over here and automatically he's going to get redirected on this beautiful screen where he has to enter where he is required to enter all the required information over here on this registration page and once he is done with registering his cab uh, by filling up all the required details over here he can hit the sign up button and he's going to get redirected on this beautiful screen where he'll get to see a GIF animated image. Now he can hit this image over here and automatically he will come on this screen save 7 where he will get to see his profile reflected right on the top. Okay, now once he is here on this screen, he can change his, he can set his status, uh, whatever he want to. If he want to go for this booked, so he can hit this uh, radio button. If he want to uh, go for this available status, he can hit this. Uh, radio button over here fine and on the basis of the same he is going to get the ride now let's come on the code which I've defined for uh, this button which is uh, 
uh, check so when the user will hit this check button the records are going to get pulled up from uh, this table named drivers where all the information of the drivers uh, are there fine and he will be able to see uh, the pics of all the drivers getting reflected over here and the details uh, the name of the driver his car number his phone number are going to come over here in these label boxes now he can make use of this next add previous button for checking out the profiles of the other drivers now if you want to check the status of any cab he can hit this status button over here and he will be able to uh, find out the status of that car now the status of uh, that cab is going to get pulled up from this table named status okay so if the status is equal to equal to available he will be able to see that available image getting reflected over here in place of this buffering image okay and if it is booked so he will be uh, seeing a not available image over here right now if the car is available he can hit this book cap button and automatically this table is going to get created named booking where uh, you know the name of the person who who has booked the car uh, his id his email id the driver's name and his address uh, his car's address is going to get saved now on real time now in real time this driver is going to get a notification on his panel initially these four elements will not be visible to this driver any user will book his cab he's going to uh, get a notification and in that notification he'll be able to see all these four components and the name and everything of that person who has booked his cab now in order to give him a confirmation he can hit the driver can hit this image button over here and automatically the user is going to get a notification on his panel in real time that the driver is going to come uh, at his point within next 5 to 10 minutes so that's how i have developed this app hope you guys enjoyed this lecture a lot do try it yourself in case you want to avail the coding classes facility you are most welcome to contact me on my phone number 9891665634 and uh, get yourself registered for the online coding classes which are going to start from 1st of april 2021 thank you very much for watching this lecture god bless you all and have a great day bye bye